Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of It's Poppin' where we talk about, you know, pop-ups and pop-up camping and stuff like that. So in this video, um, what we're gonna do is talk about my favorite pop-up camper accessories. Now, these aren't necessarily gonna be like the must-haves or accessories that you need to have in order to first go pop-up camping, which I detailed in my last video. However, these are gonna be, you know, those um, uh, accessories that are definitely nice to have and definitely improve um, your camping experience overall. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna uh, detail all those accessories, not necessarily from my least favorite to my most favorite, but I'll certainly uh, reserve my most favorite for the end. Um, so as always, what I'll do is I'll try and link these items in the description, or at least I'll find something that's very similar to it. And if I can't find it, I'll just leave it out because these were sourced um, you know, from a lot of different stores and such. So um, without further ado, these are my favorite pop-up camper accessories. Okay, so the first pop-up camper accessory that um, is on the list is gonna be one of these small Bissell vacuum cleaners. So, as you can see, um, it's pretty small, pretty handy. And the cool thing about this is that um, you can actually take off that attachment and then also once the uh, cord is undone, you can actually even take off the handle too. So this can uh, compact down into a you know, handheld vacuum cleaner. And the great thing about this is it's perfect for getting in corners and you know, sucking up leaves and dirt or things the dogs track in or whatever out of your pop-up. So this is definitely a nice to have item. Um, if not a vacuum, maybe you know, like just a cheapo broom that you can pick up from the dollar store uh, to have in your pop-up to you know, sweep the same stuff out. As you'll see in one of the next nice to have items, one of my favorite items is a um, outdoor, you know, weatherproof, waterproof mat. Okay, so kind of segueing from that broom, that broom is a perfect thing to sweep off this uh, next item, which is, you know, uh, outdoor waterproof, weatherproof mat or rug or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that broom is perfect for sweeping off like rocks and leaves and stuff off of this after you've been camping for a day or two. Now what this is great for is keeping a lot of that, you know, gravel and leaves and dirt out of your pop-up. It, it prevents you from tracking it in. And it's also a great item if you are pop-up camping with dogs. It allows them to lay on something other than, you know, if it's just dirt or gravel or whatnot. Um, so this is actually a pretty large um, footprint. It covers the whole front area of our pop-up and extends out, oh, if I had to guess, six or eight feet. So it's, it's pretty large and uh, of course they come in all sorts of um, shapes and sizes and colors and patterns. Um, this particular one stakes down at the four corners. So if you pick something up like this, make sure you bring, you know, at least four stakes. That way you can uh, stake it down and doesn't uh, blow away on you. But uh, this is definitely one of my favorite items that uh, we've picked up along the way. Okay, so next up on my favorite items for pop-up camping, is these extension cords. Now, the one on my left, your right, is going to be a 30 amp extension cord. And as you can see, it uh, just extends that 30 amp um, extension cord. That way you're not losing any um, current or voltage or whatever if you need a little bit more reach above and beyond what your pop-up camper already provides. Now, on the other hand, and this is a really handy thing to have, especially if you're gonna be pulling some wattage while you're camping, especially in the summer. For example, let's say you have your air conditioner running and you know maybe some phones charging and your refrigerator running or whatnot off your 30 amp running into your camper. This is a great item to be able to run directly to your electrical hookup. Normally there's not only a 30 amp hookup, but then maybe a um, 15 amp or 20 amp, whatever they might be, maybe one or two of those also. So then you can hook this directly up to your electrical box and you don't have to worry about um, flipping any breakers or circuits in your pop-up 
while you're, you know, maybe using an electric griddle or a coffee maker or something like that, that's pretty high demand um, on, um, on the pop-up electrical system. So these are two definite, definite uh, nice to have items that definitely make your pop-up camping experience a lot better and uh, more frustration free. Okay, so next up are gonna be these stabilizer jack platforms. Um, so we have four of them because naturally we have uh, four um, stabilizer jacks or box stabilizer jacks for each of the um, four corners on the pop-up. But what these do is they um, provide a you know, much wider footprint for your stabilizer jacks to come on down to and rest on. Um, that way if your surface is kind of uneven where you wanna set those up, um, it helps uh, spread out that, um, that jack a little bit more. So definitely a nice to have thing um, to make your uh, pop-up camping experience a little easier. Okay, so next up is a super cool item. And these are, um, I guess, blow molded owl um, lamp fixtures that um, originally came on some incandescent light bulbs. Um, we inherited these from my in-laws who did a lot of pop-up camping um, back in the 80s and 90s. And these, um, like I said, originally came on incandescent bulbs, but they started burning out. So what we did is we just switched them over to some uh, newer and more energy efficient LEDs and just swapped over the uh, blow molded owls. They give uh, our pop-up a pretty cool retro, retro uh, theme to it um, when we hang these up. Definitely a cool item. Not 100% necessary, but uh, they gave it, give your uh, pop-up great ambiance and provide a little light. So um, I guess all in all, I definitely recommend having some sort of uh, lighting, whether it's rope lighting or simple lights like this that um, you can uh, attach and provide a little bit more light for uh, when it gets dark out. All right, so this is definitely in my top two favorite items for pop-up camping. What this is is just a mattress topper. It might be hard to tell, but this is how we keep it uh, folded up when it's not in use. But highly, highly recommend some sort of mattress topper or foam mattress pad or something to um, make those arguably pretty bad pop-up camper beds a little bit better and a little bit more tolerable. I'll admit um, this was uh, one of the first requests my wife um, mandated that we buy in order to make pop-up camping more enjoyable and uh, it definitely improves it. So highly, highly recommend, you know, a mattress topper or a pillow topper or a full mattress pad, something to throw on those beds. Now, just a side note about these. Like I said, we keep this off the bed when we close up our camper. Um, however, if you do elect to keep it on, just uh, note that that does raise the, the height of the bed, which may in turn impede the roof from closing fully. So just something to look out for in terms of how thick of a mattress pad you elect to get and whether you plan on keeping that on the bed year round uh, or when it's in storage at least. Okay guys, so I definitely saved the best for last. So what this is called is this is a, I guess a ball le tire leveler or a BAL tire leveler. Um, this particular model is the uh, model 28050. And essentially what this does is it enables you to park your camper, uh, level it off front to back, and then whatever side of your pop-up camper is low, um, you'll slide this under. And if you can imagine the wheel right here, th these rest up against your uh, tire wheel. And then this uh, cranks down. And um, then after a while, it'll, it'll start lifting up on the, uh, the tire. So that way you can level it off much simpler than if um, you uh, had to you know, use some other leveling system or whether that's two by fours or a, a specialty made item. So this is by and far my favorite pop-up camping accessory. It makes um, leveling super quick. The reason for this cut up pool noodle is because then once it's set in place, you can just slide that on over to protect um, you know yourself from accidentally hitting it or catching it um, when you're camping. It's also great for when uh, this goes back into storage. It keeps this from uh, you know scraping on anything or anything like that. So 
This is definitely my favorite pop-up camper accessory. Highly, highly recommended. Um, if you have a pop-up, I would say definitely buy one. Just keep in mind, there is a weight limit on these. Um, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but if you have a super heavy pop-up or a tandem axle pop-up, it might not work for that, but I would say the vast majority of, um, you know, smaller to mid-sized pop-ups, it'll definitely work for. All right, so that is it as far as uh, my favorite pop-up camper accessories. So if there's anything that you think I forgot or that I should know about that's in your favorite pop-up camper accessory list, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, if you found value in this video, please let me know by giving me a like. And I truly am trying to grow this channel. So if you have a pop-up camper or you're looking to get a pop-up camper and this um, you know topic interests you, please consider subscribing. <laughs>